Use SIN 7 core workflows to automate routine tasks using simple if-then rules to boost your team's productivity, help them stay focused, and free up valuable time. As an example of what's possible, let's say you have a rule where purchase orders that exceed a certain amount require finance manager approval. With workflows, you can streamline this process by automating communications and the steps your team normally takes within the system. Let's build out this example we just talked through. Note that for this automation to work, you'll need to have enabled the purchase order approvals setting. To create this workflow, start by opening the settings menu and clicking automation. From the available automations, select workflow. Here you can view and edit any existing workflows or click the plus button to create a new one. You'll first enter a name for your workflow. Then decide on the type of system events to automate. We'll select Purchase Events. Click Save to continue. Next, let's set the workflow condition to determine which purchase orders trigger the automation. If you don't set any conditions, the automation runs on all purchase orders. Start by selecting the parameter, which tells the automation where to check in the purchase order to find matching conditions. We'll choose Purchase Order Total. And we only want the automation to run if the condition is greater than the specified value. Click Done to save the condition. We can now see that the workflow will run the automation only if the purchase order total exceeds 1000. Now choose the purchase order event that triggers the automation. In our case, it should start when the purchase order is authorized, which will allow our finance manager to approve it. We can now decide what action the automation takes when purchase orders that meet our conditions are authorized. Click the Add Action button to open the Actions menu. From here, we'll select Confirm to set up a confirmation request email. Then, select the mailing list of people who will get this notification. Now let's customize the email by clicking the Configure Confirmation button. Start with the email subject line. Then customize it using the special placeholder text that automatically adds purchase order details and attach the purchase order to the email as a PDF by selecting the document template and clicking the toggle. You can then write out exactly what you want the email notification to say and use the supported placeholders dropdown to automatically insert purchase order details. Be sure to include accept and reject links in the email so finance managers can take these actions without accessing SIN 7 Core. Click Done when the email is ready, which takes you back to the workflow action setup. Now decide if the request needs approval from everyone on the mailing list or just one person. Then set the retry interval for sending the email and the number of retry attempts. We'll select skip if no response is received, which means the system takes no action. And if the request is rejected, we'll have the system undo the order. Click done to save your changes. Now let's check out the logic we created for this action. When the event happens, which is the purchase order being authorized, the automation will send a confirmation email to the finance managers from which only one person needs to approve or reject the request. And if the purchase order is rejected, the system will undo the order. The last step is to decide what happens once the purchase order is approved. Let's start by adding a workflow action. This time, we'll select Notify and select the purchase manager's mailing list. Click Configure Notification to customize the email notifying them that the purchase order has been approved. We'll add a subject and include the purchase order number. Add the purchase order document and attach it. And customize the email body. Click Done to save the email notification. Then click Done again to save the action we created. Great, our workflow is ready. Let's set it as active and click Save. Now let's see this automation in action. When a user authorizes a purchase order that's greater than 1000, the finance manager will automatically receive an email request for approval. They can then review the purchase order without needing to open SIN 7 Core and either reject it or approve it, which sends an email to the purchasing team, letting them know that they can continue with the purchase. And with that, you've made your team's job easier and faster. If we wanted to take this automation further, we could add to this workflow by automating parts of the invoice, payments, or communications throughout the purchase order process. We encourage you to start small and continue building out the automations that help you the most.